serious. Some trouble is you're serving Evelyn Martin von Sutter the third silverfish in his salad. Chuck, there's something else moving in here, too. Oh, wonderful. Marvelous. Now, you mean to tell me this is part of the recipe right there? You mean to tell me that this is la salad silverfish au gratin? We are extremely sorry about this, sir. Please accept our apologies and a dinner with our compliments. Mm. And please accept a bottle of our wine. You got it. I'd like something light and dry and not under $20. Excuse me. Hey, Jimmy! Hey, it was the Super Bowl, right? The Super Bowl. That's where I was. I've been wanting to talk to you about that game ever since. Hey, would you excuse us, little honey? I want to talk to him. Jimmy, did you see me work that move? Did you see it? Angel, you're not doing the old one in a suit routine at two sides. Want to use a silver pitch? <laughs> I was going to go with the cockroaches, but they're too big. It's like overkill. Silverfish are perfect. They're small. I would say, like, subtle. Yeah, exactly. And also, who's the ice goddess with a stiff upper lip and a car salesman smile? Just a friend. Just a friend. And uh, it's strictly social. Now, James, don't kid all angels. I mean, here you are in this garlic palace dressed like one of the sons of the pioneers. What's happening? Okay, Angel. Okay. Just don't blow my cover. It's a jewel recovery thing, and we're getting close. So don't you step on my routine. I won't step on your tongue. Fair enough. Excuse me, Mr. Victor. Are you a friend of the bearded gentleman? Well, I say another word of the manager, sir. Well, I am. Only the manager is considering calling the police on the matter concerning your acquaintance. Hi there. I'm a friend of Jim's. I noticed. I don't want to seem like I'm being unfriendly to Jimmy, you know, but I looked over here and saw you and admired you and thought, what's Jimmy doing with such a nice looking lady, you know? And I thought, why is he all dressed up like some West Texas sunrise? He's from Oklahoma. He's in the oil business. He, uh, he buys and sells it. He buys oil at the gas station, just like everybody else. Why don't you come to the point? Thank you. This, uh, this becomes a uh, difficult part, Baron. You see, my mama is sick. One of the only pleasures that I have in life is mama. Mama. She needs an operation. How much? Fifty. Cheap operation? Mm-hmm. Who is he? Jim Rockford. What's his game? Well, I said to the doctor, how does a plumber's assistant, that's what I do when the unions are you know, not on strike, how does a plumber's assistant afford all the doctor bills and the rehabilitation, you know? Seeing I go, uh, the oxygen tent is good here. Uh, uh, plastic surgery, maybe. Yeah, well, his brother-in-law is a publisher. It'd be like phone him. Now, Angel, the, the bearded gentleman, he uh, does some investigative reporting, uh, consumer protection, that sort of thing. I see. I see. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Meeker. Thank you. Yes. Well, I sure hope you read the menu. The only thing I can order in French is onion rings. Why don't you have seaweed? You're always touting it. Oh, I never tout, honey. I just rustle. Quincy 